If you are a follower of XRP then keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Elon Musk has encountered several difficulties during his life, but he could soon encounter his greatest trouble yet. He took to Twitter to attack the system established to evaluate a firm's sustainability, or investment after Tesla was dropped from the SP500 ESG index. He then exposed Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. And things have gotten worse, as part of the list yearly upgrade Tesla was removed from the S&P 500's ESG index. Even the oil and gas jerker not Exxon Mobil was on the list, along with companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and others. Based on information about environmental, social, and governance issues, the SP 500 ESG index ranks and effectively advises companies to investors. The World Economics were on 51st annual meeting attended by over 2,000 of the world's most influential people was held in May. In Davos, Switzerland, among the attendees were representatives of the cryptocurrency industry, and during their discussion, they outline what the future of finance looks like from the perspective of the world's elite. We will explore some background information on the World Economic Forum in today's video, and then give you a synopsis of the discussions regarding cryptocurrencies and what they might all signify for cryptocurrencies. Just so we get on the same page, here's what you need to know about the World Economic Forum. If you don't know already, an international organization with its headquarters Switzerland is the World Economic Forum, or W as I refer to from this point forward, Klaus Schwab, a German engineer, economist, and university professor who formed the W in 1971, initially envisioned it as a club for European business people, because it includes nearly all the most influential business people, politicians, corporations, and NGOs around the globe. The wealth has subsequently grown to become one of the most influential organizations in the world. According to his website, the Webco is to influence global, regional, and industry agendas. We accomplish this through providing support to the people and organizations that advance the organization's goals and by hosting annual meetings, where these people and organizations can discuss these agendas. Klaus, who had led the group as its chairman since his founding, is mainly responsible for the schedules and discussions at West meetings. The Great Reset is Cloud's most well-known concept, and he went into great detail in his book in 2020, which became quite popular after the web published a brief essay on Twitter, outlining how you'll own nothing and be content by 2030. The web members will be delighted and will hold everything. Anyways, the idea that is most relevant to this video is state-coded capitalism, and Claus has stated in interviews and in speeches that the stakeholders in question are of course the members of the WEF. Stakeholder capitalism was the theme of Webb's Davos meeting in 2020, and the Great Reset was the theme of the conference in 2021, which was held virtually due to the pandemic. The theme of this year's meeting was history at a turning point government policies and business strategies. In other words, how do we take advantage of all the chaos to take more control? This year's Davos meeting was initially scheduled for January as per the standard but was delayed a made due to the pandemic. The first web critical decision features Circle CEO Jeremy Aller and Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. That's because the panel of discussion about the role of digital currencies and remittances was more like a competition between Jeremy and Brad about Circle and Ripple. As you might know, Circle's the company that issues the USDC stablecoin and Ripple's the company behind the XRP cryptocurrency. Before, considering Elon's outbursts, Let's explore the spa between Germany and bread. It happened after Jeremy talked about how cryptocurrencies should remain permissionless, including USDC. In case you don't know what permissionless means, it means you don't have to ask for anyone's permission to use a cryptocurrency. There is no company, no government. Bread immediately said regulators would not allow permissionless systems, particularly those related to remittances and digital currencies. Jeremy jumped in by arguing that regulators need to be okay with not knowing what's happening with specific cryptocurrencies, the same way they tolerate not knowing what's happening online. 
Jeremy went on to a list a bunch of statistics about USDC, and the whole reason why USDC is seeing so much adoption is because of Circle's commitment to making USDC as much like cash as it can. Jeremy even goes as far as to argue that any digital currency that doesn't have the same properties as cash will not be voluntarily adopted. As previously stated, the SP500 removed Tesla from his ESG index resulting in a massive outburst from Elon Musk. The index was updated earlier in May and a spokeswoman for the index explained why in a blog post. It has stated that Tesla's lack of low-carbon strategy and codes of business conduct as well as racism and terrible working conditions recorded at Tesla, Fremont, California facility had an impact on the score Tesla's handling of the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration inquiry also impacted its grade. While Tesla's declared purpose is to speed the world's transition to renewable energy, the company settled with the EPA in February this year after years of Clean Air Act breaches and failing to measure its missions. Last year, Tesla rated 22nd on the UMass Amherst Political Economy Research Institute's Toxic 100 Air Polluters Index, quite a mouthful trailing ExxonMobil ranked at 26. The index is based on data from 2019, which is the latest available. Tesla also stated in its first quarter filing that is being investigated for its waste management practices in California, and that it was fined in Germany for failing to satisfy the country's take-back responsibilities for old batteries. Meanwhile, the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing has filed a lawsuit against Tesla for anti-black harassment and discrimination at its Fremont Auto facility. The agency discovered evidence that Tesla habitually held black employees in low-level positions, assigned them to more physically demanding and risky jobs and retaliated against them. When they complained about racial comments last year, Tesla was also found to have participated in unfair work practices by the National Labor Relations Board. While Tesla may be playing its part in taking fuel power cars off the road, it has fallen behind its peers when examined through a wider ESG lens. The S&P representative not. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk complain about the index on Twitter on Wednesday morning, where he has over 90 million followers stating S&P global ratings have lost their integrity. Musk has said, I am increasingly convinced that the corporate ESG is the devil and carny. Tesla wrote in a subsequent corporate impact report, current environmental, Social and government's reporting does not measure the scope of positive impact on the world. Instead, it focuses on measuring the dollar value of risk and return individual investors who entrust their money to ESG funds of large investment institutions are perhaps unaware that their money can be used to buy shares of companies that make climate change worse. Not better, most recently must address the American economy expressing concern about the future, giving the president leadership in Washington. Not only were his statements criticized, but he also singled out the ESG index after Tesla was eliminated. ESG is a scam phony social justice warriors have weaponized it along with criticizing the ESG index. The Biden administration and the World Economic Forum must appears to be on a tier. Asking why the Department of Justice hasn't released the client's list of Jeffrey Stein and Galena Maxwell, Musk has not remained silent, despite many of America's ills not long ago. The billionaire infuriated Democrats by proposing to buy Twitter for a whopping $44 billion. The Democrats soon debated the risk of allowing a single individual to run a whole social media platform. Very similar to Mark Zuckerberg must speech at the World Economic Forum, and Davos, Switzerland demonstrated his future vision for the world. He contends that the humanity's future is closely intertwined with the world's in. You must develop sustainable energy sources and discover methods to live peacefully with nature. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.